true leadership has been described as a phenomenon that inspires potentials, keep trust in place, and empowers a shared goal. This was part of the discourse at the first graduation ceremony of AVEC Leadership Academy Fellowship Program held over the weekend, virtually and physically at Antonio Village in Lagos. Isaac Anjori, the Chief Information Officer at Yaba College of Technology, emphasized more on the theme of the program, Leadership and Excellence, Inseparable Pillars for Nation Building. Leadership is something that has to be learned or has to be earned, has to be developed. So it's not something that I just think that my father is a chief imam. They definitely by, by default have to be a chief imam. Leadership and then data development and nation building generally. So, um, and then within the, the context of what uh, we have discussed, we have looked at how will our, how our leaders be made, our leaders made or they are born, and uh, based on the uh, historical uh, and then uh, analysis of their school of thoughts. So, it has become to term that uh, leaders are more, of, they are made that you have to earn leadership, you need to learn leadership, you need to be able, you need to be made of a leader than being to say that you are born as a leader. So we actually uh, elucidated that to the audience and then the audience actually. So where then we move forward to what are those key indicators that can actually affect us to be as a leader and uh, what are those so we look at it from the angle of uh, both excellence and then leadership because those are the two cardinal points academically that are involving in that topic so and then leadership and excellence and we are able to see that uh, leaders uh, leadership foster excellence why excellence also strengthen leadership so if we go by those two areas we will see that what we are having in our society now is something that is going to be uh, when those things are actually uh, work together we are going to have better leadership better uh, development in terms of nation building and what we have generally the chairman of directors avec leadership academy mr olani yusuf who was represented by the board secretary Dr. Ramat Aditi Tuadisa, an associate professor at University of Lagos, in an interview with Keen Media, delivered the chairman's message. The Havoc dream and vision is that uh, we want to nurture Muslim, young Muslims, that can uphold leadership positions, that are able to um, value ethics and also they have spirituality instilled in them as Muslims. So they can thrive wherever they find themselves, in whatever profession they have found themselves, be it management, administration, medical, in whatever space that they are able to find themselves. And that is what we are following through based on our vision and the object of um, the Leadership Academy since inception. The um, fellowship program, this is the first edition, and we are graduating the first cohort today. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. Uh, the essence of even putting up the program itself is because we realize that we have Muslim youth, we have the Ummah, you know, that do not have the what it takes with respect to leadership skills and other soft skills to thrive, you know, in the society. And for this reason, our people are being pushed to the back. We don't find many of them. You know, in um, spaces, be it political, be it economic, or wherever, and even in global spaces. And we, as a people in Nostra, thought we should, we decided to build and nurture quality Uma for our religion that can um, thrive in leadership space and then they can also live beyond us. You know, and, and uh, we pay a lot of premium on quali quality. And so for this um, set of uh, fellowships that are graduating today, we have, through our faculty, 
who are um, professionals, they are cognitive professionals in their area of specialization. We have instilled in them a lot of uh, uh, leadership skills. We have also, in, we have, they have been mentored, they have undergone master classes in management, soft skills. They have also uh, had to undertake community service, you know, amongst other um, other curricula that we had. We have had to take them through, and so they already know the essence of acquiring leadership skills. They already know the ethics of their profession and the soft skills required, you know, with respect to leadership wherever they find themselves. So we have charged them that they should go out and be ambassador of um, Havoc Leadership Academy and ensure that quality is uh, what their watchword wherever they are. The fear of God with respect to spirituality is also has been instilled in them and it's also one of the things that they should portray wherever they are going. A member of the faculty, Mrs. Abdurrahman Leki, also said, With every new thing, there are teaching challenges. Also, because you also have a geographical spread, not everybody is in Lagos, so we resorted to the online model, virtual trainings. But alhamdulillah, from what we have here today, we see that there was a lot of impact. The second cohort is full, more people want to come in. And what makes it even more interesting is that the first cohort was absolutely free. The second quote is supposed to be a paid program and they have more and more people that want to do it. So it's a testament the fact that it's not really about the money, it's about the impact that we've made and what they can gain. So for the new inductees, um, we, we, your faculty, wish you well, but you must always remember that you have to pay it forward. Havek has done so much for you, you also have to do it back in return. Also, as you go out to ambassadors of this program, preach it to others, inspire them to join, they have to realize that there is a lot in joining Havek Academy. NASFAS, the principal partner of Havek Leadership Academy, expressed its satisfaction for venturing into agencies that touch lives and support the efforts of the government in developing the nation, apart from being a faith-based organization. The society's vice president one, Alaji Engineer Kamal Olawuji, Representing the president, Alaji Abdurrahouf Ayodeji Abdurrahid, as this to say. Simple. Uh, it's just a landmark achievement for Nasrullah Ali Fati. This is a vision conceived like 14 years ago, since 2010. And um, two, about three, four years ago, the program started. And today, since 2022 August, we have uh, about 27 youth that are, en are engaged in leadership program and they are graduating today and that's a very huge achievement for Nasrullah and Fati. A peace setting organization that we have, we have also demonstrated that by bringing up a crop of new leaders, young leaders, talking about the future of the country, talking about that people that will take over the leadership of the country. And whatever you are doing that you are not taking the young ones among will definitely um, quit. But this program has been very laudable in terms of the fact that um, we are having people to take over the future. Okay, first I want to appreciate AVEC Leadership Academy um, for taking them through a very thorough a leadership program and for them to to have taken their time to show interest it is not easy to decide to be a leader most people will just want to follow and one of the challenges we have in nigeria is leadership that has been identified in corporate world in public world so for the graduates i want to um, commend them their resiliency their time their effort the commitment to want to lead people. And so my message for them is now they have learned the skills of leadership, application, to apply it to the world, to show it in their community, in their immediate family. Some are just learn it and they don't apply it. Leadership starts from yourself. And if you want to achieve excellence, 
like like the topic of the day reads you have to practice it you have to do it by le by leading others and in essence what is leadership is to influence others you know to achieve a common goal for you to influence somebody you must have those values so they have been taught those values they are here in the world to apply to impact on people uh, in their community in the state in the country in whatever um, of life they have found themselves to so please apply this and uh, make a good ambassador of AVEC, a good ambassador of NASFAT and um, to also mentor people. You are not a good leader if you, you don't have a successor. So they have been mentored, they are mentored to some people. They should also grow into mentoring others to also join this program. So I congratulate them and wish them well in the world. One of the directors of AVEC board, who is also the general secretary of NASFAT, who was physically present at the occasion, Mr. Fatai or Layemi, also lent his voice. We have the first cohort of um, leadership academy I graduated today. Um, one of our, great, uh, our reasons for setting up AVEC is to be able to build ethical leaders. Um, in Nigeria uh, to have people that will lead with fear of Allah, people that will be ready to make a change, people that, that will be ready to do things in the way of Allah, wherever they find themselves. So it is our hope and strong belief that as they go out there, they will make a difference, they will do things in an ethical way, they will be great ambassadors of AVEC, of NASFAT, of Muslims. So we encourage them. Um, and going forward, we are not just going to leave them. There's going to be like alumni community where they will continue to be reminded of the reasons for you know, their learning and the need for them to make a difference wherever they find themselves. We are very hopeful that they are going to make that difference, inshallah, and that make it easy for them. A total of 23 graduates were inducted as fellows of AVEC Leadership Academy and they were welcomed into the fellowship. While outstanding AVEC fellows were presented with awards of merit. Do solemnly swear, Do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and diligently discharge my duties as AVEC fellow and alumnus. I will uphold the highest standards of integrity. I will uphold the highest standards of integrity. Professionalism. Professionalism. And ethical values of Islam. And ethical values of Islam. In all my conduct and in action. In all my conduct and in actions. I will respect. And honor the trust placed in me by Havoc, my colleagues and community. I will continuously strive for excellence and dedicate myself to the betterment of my professional society. The newly inducted fellows expressed their joy. Um, I'm one of the graduating fellows at uh, Marvel Leadership Academy. So, Alhamdulillah, so we have uh, we succeeded the, the program. So, we started August 2022, year 2022, rather. So, Alhamdulillah, we've gone through a lot of trainings. So the communication skills and social skills, the internship, leadership training, 
entrepreneurship, um, AI, and some other things that we gain from um, Adeshi, uh, Avec Leadership um, Academy. It is an academic that everyone on this planet should try as much as possible to attain. So they should try as much as possible to attend it. So regarding to myself, and let me say the plan that I have after this uh, training is just to implement most of the trainings that I have gained, most of the knowledge that I have acquired from uh, AVEC. So impacting it in just three ways in Islamic religion, because most of the trainees, it was extracted from Islamic teachings. So secondly is the, the community, the society that I belong to, and the third one is to myself. It is a great privilege to be one of the first cohorts of this prestigious um, institute and it's a joy of, for me because it has been part of me doing what we call leadership on, in terms of volunteerism and it's gonna, what I've learned so far <clears throat> while I was in the courts is like me knowing something but after all I learn to relearn because sometimes you feel as if you've known it all and you get to a setting and you feel like wow this is another dimension and it's a privilege for me because it's been a passion for me to always try and give back to the community in terms of teaching and volunteerism. And I, as a proud NASPAT member, I think this is a broader both step. Even regardless if I'm not in the S school or any holding any portfolio, but at least trying to contribute my own quota in the development of NASPA because youth is the bedrock of NASPA. And if the youth are well equipped, NASPA will have a very better future. So that's for me, going back to the NASPA community and doing better. So this eight month program, Though it elapsed, it was supposed to be 12 months, but then it was an all in pack um, program because ideally, with the knowledge that was instilled in us, if you are to pay for it, then we'll be paying like we're paying millions of naira. And then, so I appreciate AVEC and I appreciate NASFAT for that because now I am a better leader and I'm going, I'm, I'm, I can boldly say that AVEC has really, really opened a lot of better opportunities for me. I'm now a leader that people look up to in the society. Today is one of my happiest days in life. I'm looking forward to the day today is actually because of, of the knowledge that AVEC Leadership Academy has imbibed in me. Alhamdulillah, the training is a little bit rigorous, but I'm happy that I'm among the graduates of today and also to be able to achieve um, an award today too is, 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 is something I'm happy about. And uh, in future time, I'm also looking forward to also have um, a leadership academy like this to also invite the knowledge I gained from uh, Advent Academy to younger generations. As my professional line as a nurse educator, I've already, during the program, I used to impart the knowledge that I gained from AVEC to my students at where I work. And um, Alhamdulillah, I'm proud to also be mentor to so many and, um, and future generations to come. So. The general manager of the academy, Mr. Abduwasiu Ayola, couldn't hold back his joy for the success of the event. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, all glory belongs to Allah. I'm so grateful, I'm so happy. It is not only my success, it's the success of the team, it's the success of my board member. I really appreciate what the directors have been doing. Dr. Adisa, Associate Prof, so wonderful. Mr. Fatai Olayemi, so grateful, so grateful, so humble, ready to assist anytime. Mr. Ni Yusuf, always there for me, always at the back to give the direction. And other directors have been contributing so much. Whatever you see us bringing out today, even the team, everybody contributed to it. So I really thank Allah for the overall success. And I'm delighted. I'm just at the driver's seat. But a lot of people are behind me. The 2022 cohort that had become fellow today, because they started as a scholar. So today, each of them has become a fellow and our alumni. So our advice today is that they should keep the flag flying. They should go and mirror in the society what has been infested in them. So the speeches have confirmed that. All the good messages have confirmed that. They've got all the tools to excel. The sky is the beginning for them. So I want them to continue to represent us well as good ambassador of NASFAT, 
and good ambassador of AVEC. Also to the new intake, we have brought them here to see an end in view. Because the end of the journey is that they also graduate as our fellows. So they've seen from the beginning. It was not an easy journey. But they also see the, the uh, facilitation aspect of it. It means there is a reward. In future, there may be price reward. There is a reward for anybody that does what you're supposed to do at the right time. And that's why you saw those awards of special recognition coming, given to scholars. And you can see all of them agreeing that the overall best is actually what? Overall best. In all ramifications. So we want them to also emulate their seniors, seniors in terms of fellowship, not age. They should also even perform better than them. By the time we start the course formally in July 2024, they should take this leader fellowship, uh, after fellowship to the next level. For the first class, it's the first time we are having it. It's a six-month mentoring program. We want all of them to make best use of it. Because uh, the kind of program we have for them, the curriculum, is what will make them better. It's what, it's what will make them to use their first class in the next four, five years to get to the greatest level of their career and achievement in life. The event was well attended by NASFA stakeholders, icons in the education sector, and dignitaries such as Alhaji Abdurrahim Sholate, the CEO Ali Ujaj Aj and Umro Services, among other dignitaries, were at the events. From Antonio Village in Lagos, the venue of the AVEC graduation ceremony, it's been Fauzia Salakosoni reporting for Keen Media.